Hey guys. <clears throat> Happy 5th of July. We're uh, out riding around, taking a nice leisurely stroll with a cup of coffee on the one wheel. Um, yeah, I'm also fighting a little bit of a head cold here, so hopefully uh, you guys can hear me all right. <clears throat> so I figured I'd do a little bit of an update video. Um, I have not done a video on the one wheel for a little bit, I don't think. Uh, I'm over 1,500 miles on it. I've added a few things uh, since my last video, I think. I have the tech rails, halo flip pads with the one wheel parts, four millimeter foam hexagon uh, grip tape. And I threw on the green underlay underneath to kind of go with the aesthetics that's already going on with my board. And uh, let's see, I have the Sure Start Pro from the Float Life. Um, what else? Oh, the uh, Tech Rails six inch wheel, which is awesome. Uh, looks awesome. They throw in some uh, stronger magnets. You can kind of hear the wind of the motor a little bit better. Hopefully that's a good thing, um, but there's definitely, seems like there's a little bit more punch. The braking power is uh, definitely stronger. I don't know if it's the board or me or whatever, but I, I've noticed myself uh, riding a little bit faster without even thinking about it. Now that I've put this on here, and I have the, uh, I bought a Hoosier tire from Playfin, so um, that tire in itself is awesome. But yeah, I uh, figured I'd do a video. I saw a few posts on some of the One Wheel and Tech Rails forums on Facebook where, like, the one guy specifically was making a comment like, you, you're spending all this money on your One Wheel and it's not going to make you a better rider. Yes and no. It's not going to make you a Jeff Adairs or a Bodie, but if it makes you more comfortable on this board, uh, you're going to ride it better. So let me uh, stop here. This is a closed bridge uh, to vehicles, so shouldn't have any problems here with any traffic. Let me uh, get this turned around here and uh, give you a look at the board. All right, so overview here of basically all the parts now i have the uh tech rails saber rails with the adjustable axle blocks um i believe it is a one two three four four height adjustable axle block uh i did throw on the um one wheel uh future motion uh, green bumpers on the front and back um, let's see here you should be able to see in here I have the tech rails uh, motor plug um, I forget what they call that but it's a bracket that just keeps the motor plug attached um, the halo foot pads are nice because I don't know how well you can see this but it has a decent amount of overhang so it allows your foot to have much more of a contact point uh, throughout the entire foot pad which allows you a little bit more control over the board the four millimeter foam grip tape is awesome it just makes the ride more comfortable softer um, along with the flight fins here your just grip onto the board is just that much better and with the sure start pro I have not had a single problem with engagement or the board shutting down on me or anything else. Um, now onto the wheel. The wheel just is awesome. So the main advantage I think of this wheel is just being able to use the more readily available uh, tires that are, are made for the six inch hub rather than the 6.5 that one wheel went with for the uh, GT. <laughs> I believe there is only actually two tires available for the uh, GT hub right now. And that's the, uh, well, they're stock. They have, so that'd be three. They have their slick and their, their, uh, their uh, treaded. And then 
uh, Float Life has their Enduro tire. They might have a slick now too. I don't know if that one's released yet, but I think I've seen videos on that. So there might be four out there. Uh, I know Flight Fins was supposed to release the GOAT, but I don't believe that's out yet. So, you know, being able to have this bigger sidewall definitely is an advantage too when you're taking this thing off roads. And, you know, I'm here in Pennsylvania and we have terrible roads. <clears throat> Um, so every once in a while you, you catch a pretty big bump just on the road and the extra sidewall definitely helps you out. Um, you're not going to have any problems with heat issues like I've had in the past when we were riding the Smoky Mountains. If I had this set up, I probably would not have overheated. With this billet hub, the, the plates on the side are thin, the axle carriers are thin, plus with the way this material is made, um, or put together rather. Uh, it's going to dissipate heat a lot better um, on top of that too because of the different tire i can now throw this back on top and keep dirt and debris from being tossed on me you know and this is a nice feature with flight fins if you want to pop that off too and just have plain exposure to the, the tire you can um, <clears throat> there's the other side of the wheel the plate's a little bit bigger so I also ended up throwing uh, one issue I had with the flight fins here is the screws that they, they sent with it started to rust. So I ended up getting some uh, titanium bolts for that. And uh, yeah, so ultimately that's about it. Um, you know, Tech Rails makes awesome stuff. It is expensive. You're taking a little bit of a risk with it, especially because Future Motion has this board locked down so much. So if I have problems with the battery right now, there's no other way to take care of it um, other than sending it back to Future Motion and have them put in a new battery, in which case I got to put it all back to stock and everything else. So hopefully in the meantime, someone out there will come up with a, a means for changing out the battery ourselves. And uh, maybe one wheel will finally, or Future Motion will finally come to their senses and allow us to do that. But uh board's awesome it rides great you know with the adjustable height you can change it with the the new hub i can put different tires on there there's a lot more options out there so stuff like that for your average rider it is going to make it make you a better rider because it's going to make you more comfortable on there you can customize it more and then on top of that you make the board your own that's the reason why there's so many aftermarket parts out there and rails yeah they're expensive and the hub you got, I think Float Life just released a video where they're trying to make a five inch hub. So there's a reason why all these guys are doing it out there and the pros are, are looking at this stuff. Look at Jeff Adairs who's doing videos on and, and partnered up with Tech Rails, which this board is almost fully Tech Rails. You know, you got Bodie who's, who's riding the Float Life and riding the products they're putting out over there with the WTFs and now their five inch hub I'm sure will be riding. So does it make you as good as them no you got to have some talent you got to it's just like any other sport but if it makes you more comfortable it's going to make you a better rider out there and it's going to make you more safe so you know and you make the board your own so if there's hate coming out there about you customizing your one wheel just ignore it or probably just jealous but um yeah man i hope you guys like looking at my board uh, i'll keep you updated as time goes on uh the uh the ride feeling's great and it's it's just a ton of fun so looks like I got a helicopter coming my way I will switch this around here yeah I wonder what they're doing here people on the helicopter liked my customized board so much they decided that they want to come over here and take a look at it Alright guys, well, stay safe out there, 
enjoy the weather, keep riding.